Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm just going to straighten up my phone a little bit, that's better. Um, hope you're all well. Um, it's quite a nice day today, the sun's out, I've had to shut the blind so we're going to have shadows but it's not too bad a light. Um, I'm here to do day 14 uh, with Lydia. Uh, day 14 of the 30 day baby challenge and I am enjoying it so much. I don't know what I'm going to do when the challenge ends. <laughs> uh, I definitely will be making more videos because um, I'm just enjoying it more and more as the time goes on. Very difficult to fit it all in at the moment. And uh, my apologies for um, the videos being really quick and a bit disorganised. But I really want to stick to the challenge. Um, I don't want to, you know, uh, not do it. So even if I can just get on and it's a bit of a rush with me and Tegan uh, to do the challenge and a bit... Uh, disorganized I, I definitely want to make this challenge I don't want to not meet my challenge uh, and also I've really just not had time to go in and answer my comments from yesterday so I will be trying to fit that in today but um, I might be late because I've got time to do the video now and then later on this afternoon um, my daughter-in-law is coming over with another two grandchildren Michael and Evie and we're going to look after them while she goes to the dentist and has her wisdom tooth taken out which is going to be not so nice I don't think and then uh, we'll take them home afterwards and make sure she's uh, okay so that's going to be a busy day so I've just got time now that's Lexi sniffing at the door because uh, hubby's just gone to take the recycling down so she thinks, hmm, am I missing something? So, uh, as normal, just ignore background noises. It's just a dog. <laughs> so, um, oh, where have I put it? Oh, I got happy mail. So I got happy mail. <laughs> In fact, I would call this love mail, friend mail. Um, happy mail doesn't uh, isn't the same when... Um, You've got uh, friends, is it, that you're really fond of and um, you enjoy your, your relationship with and your friendship with. You're thankful for your friendship. So I have looked at the card because I just couldn't wait. And I love it. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that handmade card. Um, I just absolutely love that. And in fact, Suzanne... Um, I was just going to say, if you're listening, of course you are. Um, I might have to pinch um, that kind of design for my Christmas cards. Last year, I found it really difficult to get inspiration for my Christmas cards. And I just absolutely love that effect. It's amazing. So, um, as long as you don't mind, I'm going to pinch that idea off you. And um, it's lovely inside, the way she's laid it out. And it just says, Dear Dee, just a little something for Lydia. Um, to welcome your gorgeous baby girl uh, with lots of love, Suzanne. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to put that up in the shelf in my craft room so I can look at it. And then, even more, look at this package. What a fantastic, I was going to say beautiful, what a fantastic idea for putting presents in. I love that. I just love... Um, crafts and things like that and I love picking up it's not copying it's inspiration I love the inspiration that you get from seeing other people's things seeing their work sharing your your work with them I just love anything uh, arty farty I love it and I just love all these designs look at that little girl she's just gorgeous got the little girl on this one and I, obviously I'm going to keep this bag I might put some treasures in it and then put it in Lydia's memory box so I just open that and uh I've come in with Lydia's outfit for today, but this feels soft. So just in case it's something she can wear, I've got a couple of options that I can put with that as well, just in case. Oh, so I put that lovely uh, package down. So we've got our, so let's see if I can get it right this time and do it in front of the camera. <laughs> I'm always saying to Tegan, make sure you keep it on screen sweetheart make sure you keep it on screen and then i go and do exactly the same in my excitement there you go do you know i really am lucky to have such wonderful friends and i really do appreciate you all my close friends oh look at that pink it's gotta be pink with me hasn't it <laughs> oh love you to the moon and back oh that's amazing Look at that. 
this is so sweeter. Look at the colours. Aren't they gorgeous? I love that. Now, I wasn't sure what it was, but it, oh, I didn't know what it was. Uh, but it did feel soft. So um, I thought, just in case it was something that she could wear today, I've brought in the original outfit I was going to put on her, which is the third baby girl out of that set. And it's a lovely... In this light, it looks salmony pink or peachy pink um, in my room, but it is pink. And it's got... Um, <laughs> look at Lydia. Sorry, Lydia. A little embroidered hedgehog, flowers and leaves, little mouse, so cute. Uh, more flowers, a little squirrel, and he's holding flowers, bless him. And then a little bunny at the top. And then it's got a broidery anglaise frill collar and the little puff sleeves that I'm loving at the moment. And then this is the third hat in the pack that goes with that. And I would say it loosely goes, doesn't it, out of the set. And then just in case it was something that Lydia could wear, I brought in, oh, I've dropped a booty, I think. Yeah, I have. I've dropped a booty in transit. But I did bring in um, her off-white hat and the two white booties originally. But I've dropped one somewhere. I can't see it on the floor, so it's probably still in the uh, spare room. And I brought in grey leggings, which are going to go lovely with that. And then I brought in, which I'll use now anyway, her pink booties and a pink bonnet so we'll go with those i might have actually put the um winter white one with it but i'm going to put the pink now because i've lost a booty somewhere i'll as soon as i stand back from the bed and the tripod i'll probably see it so yeah so we're in for a really busy couple, couple of days the um surveyor phoned me yesterday morning and he asked if him and the co contractor that he uses could come out and have a look at the soil pipe the one that's broken and leaking everywhere um it's taped up now so it's only like the odd trickle uh, and he wants to have a look at that and then they want to come back friday so i said well friday is really not convenient because we've got to go and pick up grandchildren and we've got grandchildren overnight the only way it would work for friday is if you come really early in the morning because they're going to be three or four hours. I mean, that's their estimate, and it's always longer, isn't it, usually? Um, so they're coming at 8 a.m., so it's going to be a long day. But um, I was a little bit concerned, because my painkillers aren't even kicking in at 8 a.m. I'm usually just sat there, um, you know, uh, waiting till I'm feeling up to getting up and around and, you know, getting a shower, having a wash, and getting breakfast, and doing all that kind of thing, getting the day started. But then I thought, well, it's up to them basically, isn't it? They they don't need me to help them. Um, they can just go and sort out what needs to be sorted out. And they'll just have to put up with me wandering around doing what I need to do. And getting my day organised as I do it. Otherwise, they've got to book another day at a different time. So uh, that was that. And then hopefully they're finished in time so that we can have um, a quick lunch. And then we'll go off in the afternoon. I'm not sure what time yet. So we might be able to have a little chill for an hour. And go off and get Michael and Evie and have them overnight. Um, because uh, Tom's going to surprise Emily with an evening out for their 10th anniversary. He doesn't know yet. So we're all hoping that she feels up to it. And then yesterday, me and Tegan had the idea, it was sort of, um, you know when one of those ideas when you're talking about something and it sort of develops between the two of you? So we decided that um, when the kids come over Friday, we're going to do our own sort of little Halloween party. So um, we can't make it um, too much of a surprise because um, with Michael being um, autistic, uh, you know, too much of a shock like that could... Um, give him sensory overload so you know they need to know a certain extent um, what's happening you can't just plonk things on an autistic child um, so things like something like you might do for another child like say suddenly an, uh, arrange a surprise birthday and all his friends turn up would be absolutely overwhelming for an autistic child he would have to know at least he was having a party or that something was going on you just can't do it so, uh, but then, you know, that's fine. Uh, you, you do what they need, don't you? You do what they need. So, um, 
I'll warn my son in advance that um, we've got some nibbles and uh, some Halloween decorations coming in the shopping tomorrow and then we'll sort that out Friday and then when the kids come over even though it's early for Halloween but that's the night we got them and I've got toffee apples and I've got a few sweets and chocolate and little nibbles nothing too much because they'll be uh, bouncing off the walls otherwise <laughs> And that's not good when you're nearly 60, is it, to be dealing with that? Um, you know, three kids bouncing off the walls. And uh, so, and me and Tegan have sorted out a playlist for um, Halloween songs that they might like, like Monster Mash and that kind of thing. Oh, bless her. I'm not going to see all the writing, but it's nice to see Love You to the Moon, at least. There you go, sweetie. Look at your hair. <laughs> Um, so we've done all that and um, hopefully then they'll have a good night's sleep after that. We'll have a, a little disco and a film and uh, I mean they can just uh, play as well. They might end up like playing and we'll try and find up some games for them and things and the music can play and then later on we'll have a film to try and calm them down a little bit. Um, something light. But it's Halloween themed, I was thinking. But lice, you're like a cartoony uh, vampire film or something like that. So if anyone's got any suggestions of what's up to date for the little ones who are... Um, Tegan is fine because she's 10, she's nearly 11. So she's okay with it. Anything really, pretty much. Or, or not adults, obviously. But um, the other two are 5 and 8. So we have to base it more on the 5-year-old, really, don't we? So it's suitable for all of them. So if anybody knows any... Um, of the cartoons like cartoony films uh, i know michael doesn't like scooby-doo so that won't be any good <laughs> look at her it's really sweet oh <laughs> i'm gonna leave her in that now sometimes i change her after i do the um thing the the uh, challenge if there's something i want to put on or like the other day she's making me feel cold then i'll change it but uh uh, I love this on, I'm going to leave it on. The, the pink with the uh, grey is lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's nice. There you go. There you go, sweetie. Oh, so thank you, Suzanne. I love it. And she looks gorgeous in it. She, she does look nice in pink. Yeah, so we're looking forward to that um, with the kids. Um, if you're wondering where Tegan is, we've got limited time today and she wants to finish a painting that she's doing. So she's taken a rain check on this video. Um, we're going to try and do theme Thursday as well. I have got a little bit filmed um, with some of the babies and Chase in um, Halloween clothes. But at the worst, we'll just have to upload that and just have that for our theme Thursday. Because um, today we've got a busy day. Then tomorrow I've got um, online... A doctor's appointment at nine, eight minutes past nine, and then I've got nails at half past eleven. It'd be so nice to get out the house for a few hours. It's going to be a nice break and a gossip and a coffee and catch up with my uh, friend who does my nails, Amory. And then later as well in the afternoon. I don't know what time yet because it's an open window until the day. Um, we've got a Tesco's delivery, so that's a busy day. And then Friday, the men are coming in at eight o'clock to fix the soil pipe. Um, and then we should be able to have a bite to lunch, I'm hoping, in peace and chill for half an hour and then go and get the other kids and do the Halloween thing and the babysitting and everything overnight. Take them back Saturday, come home and collapse for a few hours and in between this I've got to get my challenge videos done. <laughs> so I might end up, like, if I do miss a day, then I'll try and do two videos the next day or I'll do, i even do three actually, like on Saturday afternoon. Um, I might do a combined one if I can't do it the next couple of days, but I will try. Um, I'm determined to uh, stick to the challenge. Um, but um, I'm struggling with um, looking at everyone else's videos at the moment and answering. Because um, I'm just shattered. And in the evening I've just been dozing. Where quite often I'll have a doze for a couple of hours in the evening. And then I'll answer any posts I've missed or catch up a little bit on YouTube. Um, but um, I just haven't had the time and normally I sleep for a few hours then I'm awake for a few hours then I sleep for a few hours in the night but because I've been so tired I've been sleeping through so I haven't had that opportunity to uh, go on YouTube either so I'm just going to be on catch up all over the place so 
um, don't please don't be offended if I don't visit your um, videos or um, answer your comments um, I am going to come back to them I don't want to just heart them I promised myself when I first started my channel that I would always answer every comment even if it was a very brief thank you lots of love or something like that um, I promised myself that if every if anyone bothered to leave a comment um, under my video then I was going to be make the effort to give them a comment back you know to answer their comment and say thank you even if like i say it was very very brief because um i just haven't got time or i don't really know them or i don't know who it is because you don't know sometimes who is you're actually speaking to some people are a little bit dodgy and they're not sure if you should even be answering their comments aren't you sometimes um not that i get much of that because uh, i've been lucky so far touch wood don't want to tempt fate um, but yeah, but that's the situation this week. Next week it'll be more calm when Tegan goes back home Sunday. Um, so that's another day that'll be quite busy as such. Uh, like we said, we're just going to come home and just flop on Sunday afternoon after we've taken Tegan back. And probably flop for most of Monday too. Because <laughs> we're going to be so busy. But um, yeah, but I should do my best to come on. And um, I, I want to see the challenge through, definitely. Um, but I just don't want anyone to feel offended if I haven't come to you to comment on your videos. I'm not ignoring you. I'm not just not taking the time out to do it. Uh, it's not that I don't appreciate you because I appreciate everyone takes time to come to my channel. Um, and I'd really, really appreciate it. It's only just one small thing. But could you please press the like button if you like the video? I know you probably all do. Um, but um, sometimes I don't do it. And... Um, uh, I was watching somebody else's video the other day and apparently the more likes you get um, raises your profile on YouTube so when we go to each other's channels um, I'm always going to press a like now to make sure that that person gets the, the appreciation uh, that they deserve you know and their, their videos get seen for the effort you know it's a lot of effort sometimes doing these videos and fitting it in with your day and doing the uploading and if it needs editing um, you all know what I'm saying, you know, it can be quite hard, it's enjoyable and it's lovely, but it can also be quite hard work. So, um, you know, if you if you uh, would kindly uh, press on a like for me, I'd really appreciate that. I actually had a thumbs down the other day, it was for, I laughed. <laughs> um, I think it was, which one was it? Uh, it might have been my box opening even, I can't remember. But I was glancing through my channels, uh, you know, my videos, I do every now and again. And um, just to make sure you try and make sure, you know, I covered everybody, uh, which is impossible. Um, I'm starting to do a thing now where I'm going to go into YouTube studio once a week and go on the where you can see your comments. You haven't answered yet because um, you tend to go to the last one or two videos or if you get a notification that someone's commented, which you don't always get with YouTube. And that's the failing of it, sadly. But um you, you go and you answer what they've put down, you know, thank you and, and whatever you want to say, leave your comments. And then when you go on the comments section on your YouTube studio, you find that there's lots of other comments that have come up, sometimes a few days later, that kind of thing. And I've got no notification for and I'm totally unaware of. So um, if you suddenly see a belated comment from me and it's like three weeks ago, a video or something, uh, that you've put up and um, that's why so I decided that I'm going to try now once a week maybe on the weekend um, set a time when I go through my comments and make sure I've answered everybody because uh, like I say if you come to my channel and you leave a comment and you watch my video or even part of it I really appreciate it and I really want to uh, give you a, a, you know an answer back it's, it's just manners isn't it and I know it's, it's impossible if you've got a massive channel and you get a massive amount of comments to really stick to it but I'm going to try and always do that um, it's just something that I set for myself and I wouldn't like anyone to feel that they weren't appreciated that's what I really don't want I don't want you to come leave a comment and be nice and kind and um, enjoy the video and then I don't even acknowledge it that would be awful so I went through my comments and I answered and I got down to about a month ago and I thought well I'll just cut it off there I'll cut it off a month ago and um, then the ones from a month ago upwards I've, I've answered now I think um, and then if any have come in since obviously I might have missed but I, I'm going to try and set a time, set a routine so I remember and check my comments on the weekend to make sure I've covered everyone even if it's a bit late but at least you know I've seen it and I appreciate it um, that you've been onto my, my videos and watched.
So uh, we were hoping for a pram walk this morning, um, but we're not going to have time now. Um, it's taken me three days to recover from getting the washing machine out and making the hole um, under the cupboard, um, which is a saga that I shall have to tell you about. But it basically boiled down to Grandad couldn't do it because he got pains in his chest and he's trying to get under the unit. We couldn't find a drill, so we're panicking now because the washing machine is coming the next morning and there's no hole in the unit to put the pipes through. So there's me and Tegan taking it in turns under the unit, which nearly killed me to get under there, um, to um, with a, a hammer, a little hammer that you use for like putting um, those little gold nails in to hang pictures up. So we had one of those little tiny hammers, had no weight to it at all, it was useless. And then Tegan that, that tried to use it to leave her in the hole, to leave her some of the chipboardy stuff out, whatever it's called, and the head come off it. So we ended up, we had a screwdriver, a little hammer, a bread knife, and a steak knife, trying to make a hole in this um, unit. So we got a little way, we made a little hole about an inch by inch and a half, something like that, and we were hanging. Now this, Tegan is only 10, and she's trying to help, she's nearly 11, and she's trying to help as best she can, bless her. And so she's trying to do her best. And then uh, Grandad got banned, because he tried to do it, and then he got pains in his chest, and then we couldn't get him up off the floor. So we had to sit it out, and we, we got him on a chair and everything. It took us about three hours in the end to make a little hole, big enough to put two little pipes through. And then I got arthritis in my knees and my hips and my spine, and uh, my shoulders my elbows, my hands, and I'm trying to get under this unit to um, help Tegan now and you do it between us. And then it ended up that we did find the drill in the end, um, at the right at the back of the shed, uh, under some stuff, and we got that out. And then me and Tegan were under the unit um, with this big heavy drill, the two of us, holding this drill up between us and Tegan was pressing the trigger you know, to make it go. And uh, we did manage to make the hole in the end. But it's taken me up until today to be able to walk around without being in agony. Uh, <laughs> uh, Monday, Tuesday, uh, I just wasn't fit to be a human being. I was in the right state. So it's never happening again. But um, so now we, we've got these busy days now as well on top of all that. So thankfully, though, I do feel better today. Um, I was like doing my pain meds and doing my TENS machine and doing the heat and doing the Voltarol gel and doing everything I could think of. And I still was barely physically getting around. It was a nightmare. So anyway, um, that's enough of that. So uh, I'm off now. I can hear hubby stirring. He's taking the recycling down, so you might have heard him. Um, and uh, I say Tegan should be back on the next one. But um, uh, we shall be back soon. So have a lovely day, everyone. Um, like I was saying, we're not going to make a pram walk today now because it's just going to be too much with having the kids later as well and the next few busy days but um so sadly i don't think we're going to fit another one in before tegan goes home um on sunday but if we can we will we're wondering maybe about saturday afternoon if we're not too tired um and if the weather's nice like it is today then we might do it but i can't promise it at the moment because we're going to be absolutely high well me and me and hubby will especially me but uh tegan will probably enjoy it all because <laughs> she can't wait to see her little cousins so uh, we should be off now, or I should be off now, and um, I should be back um, tomorrow, hopefully at some point, or otherwise I'm going to have a catch up on Saturday afternoon and go from there. So, uh, Anna and I will try and catch up on all the comments over the weekend as well, if I don't do it before. So don't worry, I, I, will, I will get to you. So bye for now everyone, take care, have a lovely, lovely day, and thank you Suzanne, I absolutely love a little top. Um, did you get that embroidered for her? Um, it's absolutely lovely. I love the colours. They look look how pretty they are, and um, I love that. It's really nice. I really like it. She's going to stay in that today. I'm going to put a picture on Instagram in a moment. I think. So bye everyone. Take care. Lots of love. Look after yourselves and each other. And thank you for popping in. Uh, I I always appreciate it. Lots of love. Bye.